In sports, one thing that everybody wants is a better vertical jump. We do heavy lifting, we do box jumps, we do anything in the world, we buy, street, we buy shoes to, that, that might make us jump higher. But we get to a point where we just get stuck. And we've all been there with our athletes and we've probably been there with ourselves at one point in time. So we need to take a step back and look at what am I not doing or what do I need to be doing to improve my vertical jump. Well, let's talk about uh, max strength training and how that impacts your performance. When, you're, when you have a young training age and you're in your kind of GPP or general physical prep phase, strength training, max strength training will absolutely help your performance. You'll, you'll almost certainly get a performance bump. But we get to a point where there's diminishing returns on that and strength training just won't have, or max strength training, just won't have the impact that it once did. So we, now we have to shift. We have to shift to another quality of strength. And the quality of strength that I want to you know, ask you guys to shift to is speed strength. Speed strength is overcoming a low resistance very quickly. Your, the low resistance on a vertical jump is your body weight and the counter movement that you're applying to it, applying to your body. And so what we have to do is it's a, it's a very aggressive and quick rapid muscular contraction that produces a lot of force to improve our vertical jump. It's increasing rate of force development, meaning you're recruiting you know, force quickly, which occurs in a jump. Uh, so it really lines up very well with that. And actually, if you guys have ever heard of a, a, a coach by the name of Brian Mann, he actually did a paper on this, whereas he correlated uh, Olympic lifting in the speed string zone to gains in vertical jump. So it correlates very accurately. Um, I've seen it practically myself uh, with, with other college athletes that where They've been lifting for a while and they've done so much strength training or heavy strength training that it just has lost its benefit, like I mentioned earlier. So we had to shift. And as soon as we shift, it's almost like immediate, they get a bump in performance. They're able to use all the strength that they have to apply force quickly now. So start adding speed strength. It's, it's anywhere from 20 to 40% of your one rep max. If you happen to have something that uses velocity, it's 1.0 to 1.3 meters per second on average. And uh, um, you know, add that into your, to your program. Try it for a training block. Test your athletes before the block. Test your athletes after the block and see the difference. Maybe that's what they need to unlock the vertical jump. If this video seems helpful for you guys, please share it. If you want more uh, information on how to enhance yourself as a trainer or, or, or grow as a trainer, please head over to www.ifastuniversity.com and see what we've got.